I finally got to try on the Speedy Neno. It is very cute. Look at this beauty. It is in the gold color. To give away a beautiful Chanel flat card holder. Welcome back. So today's video is in three parts. The first part, I've got a little bit of a luxury shopping vlog to share with you with lots of eye candies. And then I've got a Chanel unboxing. I am so excited about this bag. I finally caved. It is one of those hot bags. I thought I'd never get one of these bags, but I did. And the final part of the video is a Chanel giveaway for you guys. So make sure you stay right till the end of the video to be able to enter the giveaway. So you guys know that I was recently in Melbourne working with Pharrell Lepage and I had a little bit of spare time. So I actually went over to the Persephone, which is one of Australia's largest and most trusted luxury consignment stores and with a physical store as well. Not just an Instagram account, or a Facebook page but they actually have brick and mortar stores and they also have their own website anyway so I've actually picked up my Chanel bag from the Purse Bay which I couldn't be happier because I got a little bit of a deal on this bag which was amazing because this is still a very hot bag so to get any sort of a discount on a bag like this I thought was just really really amazing so anyways I am so proud to announce that this video is in collaboration with the Purse Bay this collaboration is especially exciting for you and me both as I have discount codes to share with you coming up and a Chanel giveaway for you guys. So stay tuned for the whole video. So the Purse Affair has obviously a large Instagram account where you can see their daily listings, but also a Facebook group and a website, but they actually have two physical stores at the moment. So I had the privilege to visit one of them. So they've got a permanent store located in Glen Waverley in Melbourne. And then they've actually got a three month pop-up store that they just opened in Westfield on Castor. So that is the store that I got to visit. There are only a few Australian consignment store with an actual shop front and there are definitely benefits of shopping with a consignment store that actually has a physical store. As you guys know, recently there have been a lot of Instagram accounts that have been unexpectedly shut down or disabled or even unscrupulously shutting down. So when these things happen and you've got a big transaction happening, it can be really stressful and really difficult to chase up after the store if Instagram was the only way you were communicating with them. So let me take you over there and show you the beautiful store. So here is their beautiful store. As you can see, there's a huge range of brands and styles. They've got a really lovely selection of stock. You can see most of the brands that we love, including Chanel, Louis Vuitton, Hermes, of course. You guys know that it is really difficult to try on Hermes bags in their boutiques because they don't often have, you know, the Birkins or the Kellys or Constances for you to just, you know, try. So it's a really nice way to try on some of the Hermes pieces they've got. They've even got other brands like Saint Laurent, Gucci, Dior, and fine jewelry brands like Van Cleef and Appels and Cartier. They have new arrivals every single day, including some sought after and special pieces. And they really have reasonable prices and some great deals to be had. And the most important thing, obviously, they guarantee 100% authenticity or you can get your full refund. So you can really shop with peace of mind. In terms of their authentication, each item is checked in house by their team who are authenticators themselves or experts trained in Japan and sometimes using third party authentication tools such as Entropy. A couple of other amazing things, they offer free express shipping worldwide. They also offer the option of layaway. So you can take four to eight weeks to pay off for the item with 20 to 30% non-refundable deposit. And you can pay off the balance anytime during this period and the item will be shipped straight away after that. And they also do after pay up to $2,000. Also, the purse of it is really easy to sell through. Their consignment rate is really competitive at just 15% with a $280 Australian minimum. Or if you need quick cash, you can just directly sell to them and they will buy your item outright. All right, let's try some bags on now. There's so much variety to choose from. I'm starting to really like the Chanel 19s. What do you think? It's so cool. I actually never thought I really would like it this much. But then again, I haven't really been in the Chanel store to try it on properly. So it's really nice to try this on. Now I'm trying a vintage Chanel. This is for the Diana. I'm sure a lot of you are familiar with it, but seriously, the vintage lambskin is just so luxe and nice, soft, supple, everything. And it is 24 karat gold plated as they used to do that. 
so it's really nice to be able to try you know stuff that you can't try on in the store at the moment and of course the purse bear has a really nice range of Hermes bags look at this beauty it is in the gold color size 25 Kelly Vuitton I actually personally really like the gold color in the Vuitton silhouette better because it is a bit of a carefree color or casual color so it's so cute so a few other really nice colors and sizes but the color gold is definitely on my wish list so it's so nice to be able to try because you know when you go to Hermes stores they only have funny colors on display that you can try if they even let you so it's just so nice to be able to see it on you and I finally got to try on the speedy Neno it is very cute definitely holds all your essentials on the go the original GM size yep still think it's a little bit too big for me but definitely nice as a travel bag and you need to carry around a lot of things it doesn't look too bad but I personally wouldn't carry this size I don't think all right I never considered a constant before but I might be growing to really like it. This Constance is in the size 18. It's in the Bird Cricket color and it's actually really, really cute. To be honest, I think this might be a lot more useful than your Birkin and Kelly because it is a lot more casual. Uh, my Hermes oh, wish list just gets longer and longer. And it's really cute as a double strap short shoulder bag as well. That is so adorable. So now we're trying on some fine jewelry. So this is the Cartier love bracelet with the four diamonds in the rose gold, which actually complements my stack perfectly. So the Purse Bay is one of the only places that really sell a wide range of fine jewelry. Not many consignment stores that would do that. So, if you're looking for a good piece from a reliable place, this is a really good place to look at. And oftentimes, with the fine jewelry, the boutique prices go up every year, and you do have some sort of savings getting it from the purse affair. So, definitely really good pieces to look at. So if you live in Melbourne or if you've got plans to visit Melbourne, do head over to one of their stores. I can tell you right now, if you're a luxury lover like me, you will really enjoy your time there. And if you're not physically in Melbourne, you can check out The Purse Affair by following them on Instagram, which their handle is just The Purse Affair, and also by visiting their website, which is purseaffair.com. I'll leave links to everything down in the description section below. And The Purse Affair team has kindly offered me a discount code to share with you guys. The discount codes are Isabel50 for $50 off any purchase under $3,000 and Isabel $100 for $100 off any purchase over $3,000. These discount codes are valid for one week from today. So if you're eyeing anything from the purse affair, do make sure you take advantage of these discount codes on top of their already reasonable prices. Anyways, now let's get into the unboxing portion of the video. You guys are going to be really surprised. I mean... Yeah, let's get into it and we can talk about why I decided to get it. I have good reason why I picked this one up. This is true unboxing. I haven't opened it yet. So, the beautiful Purse Affair sticker there. Such a nice little thank you card from the Purse Affair. Chanel care booklet and the cleaning microfiber cloth. Some more Chanel paper. Are you guys ready? The dust bag is there. You can pretty much see what it is. Literally, who am I guys? I've never even talked about this bag on any of my wish lists or any of my videos, really. 
Um, yes, yeah, so guys, I actually picked up a Chanel 19 bag in black goat skin in the size small. And I'm sure there are a million and one YouTube videos out there about this bag and I might be the last one to jump on the bandwagon. But for those of you interested, I'm going to quickly give you a tour of the bag. So that is the front of the bag with the CC clasp lock there. And on the back, there is a back pocket that has a magnetic closure. So that's really nice. So whatever you put in there will stay quite secure. Comes with a top handle as well as a shorter strap. Not adjustable, but it is a pretty good length. And this bag actually comes with an organizer already. So whoever owned this bought a felt organizer for it already. But that is what the inside looks like. There is only one zipped compartment. So I suppose the organizer helps and it has a fabric lining. So, you know, having a bag organizer will protect the interior of the bag. So that is it with the organizer in there. I guess it helps with organizing as well because it's got a few other slip pockets that you can utilize. And this being a more medium sized bag, although it is called the small size, I think it'll be able to fit quite a few things in there. And now I just wanted to quickly show you what the bag looks like on me. So that is the bag as a handheld bag on the crook of my arm, very easy. The handle drop is really nice. And you can also use it as a shoulder bag drops at a really nice length this is my hip bone here and for reference i am 164 centimeters tall that is about five foot four and that is it as a crossbody bag because it is so smushy and soft it feels very comfortable as a crossbody bag i am really looking forward to using it casually like this now let's talk about the reasons why I ended up purchasing this bag. You guys know that I usually make considered purchases and there are also good reasons why I've really decided to purchase this. I do try to be strategic when it comes to adding new pieces to my luxury collection because I do strongly believe in having a curated and meaningful collection where each item in my luxury bag collection serves a purpose. And this Chanel 19 bag, I really feel like fills a few voids in my current handbag collection. So first of all, you guys know that I've downsized my handbag collection quite a lot in the last, say, two years or so. I sold a lot of handbags. So I was left with only the bags that I really love and most of them ended up being classic handbags. So one void that this bag really filled was having a fun bag. I know I've added a few trendy bags lately, but at the peak of my sort of bag selling period, I was left with only the very classic styles in my collection. So it's only this year that I started adding back some trendy pieces. But what I've also realized is that out of the trendy pieces that I've been adding to my collection, because I normally have a budget when it comes to purchasing a trendy item, I realized I ended up with a lot of mini size bags when it comes to the trendy part of my collection. As you guys know, my new sort of mentality around my handbag collection is I wanna keep about 70% of my collection classic, but then I want to have about 30% of my collection where, you know, I can play with different trends and I normally give myself a bit of a budget cap. So I don't like to spend more than two to three thousand Australian dollars on a trendy bag. So when I looked at my overall collection, I'm very, very happy with my classic bag portion, which is more than half of it. But then when it came to the trendy section, I only had these tiny little mini bags. And, and whilst I love small bags because they're so easy to carry around, there wasn't really many medium sized bags where I can fit a few more things if I need to carry around a little bit more than just the bare minimum essentials with me. So on those days, I really didn't have any sort of fun trendy bag that I could use that would go with really casual outfits, like even gym clothes and things. So I was looking for something that was a more medium sized and I wanted something fun and trendy. So initially when I saw the Chanel 19 bags, I never really thought I really liked them. I thought they looked really loud and gaudy and I just didn't think they looked very elegant. So I didn't really consider it. But I remember going into the Chanel store early this year and I actually saw the Chanel 19 bag in this exact size in the navy goat skin. 
And I actually remember really liking it when I tried it on. I just wanted to try it on to see what it looks like on me and it kind of looked really nice when I tried it on and when I handled it, it just seemed like a really convenient and comfortable bag to use. So I decided, oh, maybe the Chanel 19 bag is something to consider. But then I saw the price tag. It retails for over 8,000 Australian dollars at the moment for the small size and I was just really not ready to spend that much on a Chanel bag. I know relatively it is still a good price compared to their classics which are upwards of 10,000 Australian dollars at the moment which I still think is really crazy. So although 8,000 if I really wanted to is a price that I could maybe swallow for a Chanel bag, yeah I really wasn't sure so I left it there. So the second time I actually got to personally handle a Chanel 19 bag is when I went to visit the person there at the Doncaster Westfield pop-up store. I went in there to sort of, you know, have a look around and catch up with Angela and Alex, the owners, and they actually had a Chanel 19 bag exactly like this, as you saw in the vlog portion in store. So I tried it on, as soon as I tried it on, I thought it looked so nice because on the day I was wearing like a rather dressy blouse in the white lace, but then I was wearing jeans on the bottom so I was able to sort of gauge what this Chanel 19 bag will look like against a dressy outfit and also a very casual outfit because my top was quite dressy so if I had a skirt on it I could really envision this bag will look really nice but then with the jeans as well this bag looked so cool so I've sort of thought you know this bag probably has really good versatility the only time I probably can't wear this is you know for a really fancy evening event but for everything else I think this bag will look suitable for and also with a lot of my classic bags in my collection like the Chanel classic flap, um, the Coco handle and my Hermes bags they kind of look a little bit out of place if I'm wearing something really casual like my gym gear I mean on my days off when I'm not working I do have yoga twice a week so half the time I'm in gym clothes because I've got two sessions of yoga every single week so whenever I have those sessions and if I need to head out for errands or catch up with a friend or something I usually just stay in the gym gear for the whole day uh, I should probably make some more effort but you know the reality is that's most comfortable for me and that's what I've been doing so I can envision myself really wearing this handbag with such casual outfits and still have like a bit of an oomph of a bag so in my collection there's no bag that is this gorgeous that will actually look that nice with a very casual outfit so for those reasons I thought it is a really nice style to consider and also the price point you're not going to get a huge bargain buying it from a consignment store because it is still a very hot style but at least you'll save some of the retail especially through the purse affair i mean this was listed for a few hundred less than retail i know which isn't a huge saving in the scheme of things but for an it item that is so on trend right now and this was in brand new condition so having a little bit of savings on a bag like this i think is a really good Thing. and the other consideration was the longevity of this trend so like I was saying before you guys know that I normally have a budget limit when it comes to purchasing a trendy bag but what I found over the years with Chanel trendy bags examples being the boy bag you know the Gabrielle bag these trendy Chanel bags tend to stick around in the market a little bit longer than some of the other brand it items that are really hot for one season and out the next and I think it's because a lot of Chanel's more trendy bags become sort of classic staples for a few years before they really go out of trend and that is I think because of the practicality of these bags so for example this 19 bag I can already tell is going to be a very comfortable practical easy going bag to use which will be very enjoyable to use you know some bags are so pretty and trendy but then when it comes to using them they're not the most used friendly bags so I feel like those bags people stop enjoying them as soon as the novelty of the trend wears off so I feel like those trends have less staying power whereas the more practical items that are trendy have more staying power because people tend to keep enjoying them for longer because they're just easy to use so in my opinion the Chanel 19 bag is one of those sort of longer sticking around trends and you guys know how I feel about the whole trend thing even if everyone says the trend is over 
if it is a bag that suits your lifestyle well and you still really love, I mean, who cares? So I'm gonna see how I get on with this bag in the next few months and see if I really like using it, which I think I really will. So I'll do a bit of a first impressions or like a review after I use the bag for a little while because obviously at the moment I haven't used it. But yeah, these are the reasons I decided to ultimately go for it, although it is a very expensive trendy bag. Now let's move on to the giveaway portion of the video. The Purse of Bear and I have teamed up to give away a beautiful Chanel flat card holder and the luxurious Chanel hand cream. So the winner can either choose these prizes or choose 500 Australian dollars cash. I don't have the card holder with me because the Purse of Bear will ship it out to the winner directly. So we're giving away this beautiful black Chanel card holder in the caviar leather, which is the most durable. So really a preferred finish on a small leather good that you handle day in day out and to enter you need to head over to Instagram so either head over to my Instagram account which is Isabel style or the purse affair Instagram account and you'll be able to find this post and under this post we'll have all the instructions as to how to enter this giveaway and there are bonus entries for doing a couple of other things so make sure you read the giveaway instructions carefully for maximum chance of winning so I'm sure a lot of you guys already have an Instagram account but if you don't have an Instagram Instagram account just make an account because you don't have to you know actively post or anything you can have an account and follow other accounts and you know get some inspiration and look up photos and styling inspos and luxury inspos and all sorts of things so it's always fun so if you want to enter the giveaway make sure you head over to Instagram anyways that is it for this long video I hope you enjoyed this video if you've got any questions about what I showed you or about the purse affair or anything leave them in the comments below thank you again to the purse affair for collaborating with me on this video and again don't forget to check out the purse affair I'll leave all of the links to their website Instagram and Facebook in the description section below and better yet if you live in Melbourne or visiting Melbourne and if you've got some time to do so head over to one of their beautiful stores and check them out anyways as always thank you so much for watching and spending some of your precious time with me today and I can't wait to see you again soon in my next video bye guys